Bye. Peace and love, America. I am Zara Ali Israel. I'm a mother. And I'm telling my story on behalf of myself and my family, my husband, Sheik, Wisdom Ali Israel, and our children, Tia, Kadir, and Jatur. While domiciled in New Jersey, I discovered that the federal judges, state judges, sheriff's officers, police officers, state agents, et al. are corrupt. I discovered this corruption because my family and I are victims. I never thought that after serving four years in the United States Army and receiving an honorable discharge that I would experience becoming a victim of government corruption. Through a vast chain conspiracy by way of constructive fraud, threat, duress and coercion and force of arms, we have experienced our children being kidnapped, abducted by the state of New Jersey Division of Youth and Family Services, also known as DIFUS. Upon investigation, it will be proven that the state agency DIFUS, Division of Youth and Family Services, is a scam. It is a legal baby children stealing organization that sells children and destroys families. Our children were taken without lawful or legal due process. They used fraudulent court orders, fabricated tests, and other false documents. There are over 35 judges named as part of this case in another case that we have of judicial corruption perpetrated against our family. There are over 50 juristic agents involved. After other than normal events, our daughter Tia was taken on November 18, 1995 at the age of five and was never seen or heard from again. She was located approximately 15 years later on Facebook. Our sons Kadir and Jatur were taken on January 9, 2003 at the age of four and five and has not been seen or heard from since. Can you see the pattern? We had been blackballed, followed everywhere, harassed and terrorized. We even had military helicopters following us, people jumping out of cars and snapping pictures and jumping back in. Our vehicles had been shot at and later confiscated. And I still don't have a vehicle to this day. I've been using public transportation or walking or getting a ride because it was so, it was much more safer that way. Um, we have had our doors busted in by sheriff's officers, police, and the Monmouth County Task Force canine units with military looking uniforms on, claiming they had warrants for child support. Now who goes to somebody's house for child support with the whole uh, squat team? Um, um, they had the military uniforms on, claiming they had the warrants for child support. They had no no valid warrants or court orders. They put guns to our heads and threatened our lives. They could have blew our brains clean out onto the wall. My husband Wisdom had been repeatedly beat by police and he was targeted because um, what the whole situation of my life, which led up to all this conspiracy, he was the only one that stood by me and helped me. So anybody that stood by me and helped me, they targeted them and tried to bring them down and destroy them also. They, said they uh, had sick dogs on him and beat him up and arrested him and jailed him. And we had no peace for a very long time, over 17 years. We had to just keep fighting and literally trying to just stay alive, you know. Um, we utilized every remedy that we knew because we wasn't that, you know, up on law and how you go about fighting cases and all that. We had to learn by trial and error. And nobody would help us. We went to Congressman Frank Pallone's office. We went to Congressman uh, Payne's office in Newark. We went to the FBI in Washington, D.C. We went to... they. They, the, everywhere we would go, the phone, as soon as we give our name, the phones would start ringing off the hook. And then they would stop us at the door. And when we went to the FBI in, in uh, uh, Washington, D.C., and they called downstairs, oh, it's them? 
next thing he says, you got to go back to New Jersey and go to that FBI. So he goes to the FBI in Newark. The phone started ringing off the hook again. It was a, a new, new FBI agent there that was willing to look into the matter. So somebody got to him. Next thing you know, all the evidence that I had brought into the FBI office, they literally, just like a cartoon, you know, kicked us out. You know how the cartoon makes a print in the wall? That's how uh, dramatic it was. Threw us out of there and told us to go to the FBI in another part of New Jersey. So it was just constantly to run around and, you know, uh, no one would help us. We could not get anyone to even look into the matter. Everywhere we would go, the phones would start ringing, like I said earlier, uh, if you know what I mean. We want justice, and we want our cases investigated. We are willing to go before Congress of the United States of America and a special grand jury to prove our innocence and their guilt. We want our children located and return to us immediately. And the people responsible for the attempted genocide of our family prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And we want to be compensated for the damages incurred because we uh, have a music career that we've been working on that we've just finally been able to get back to, you know, with all the pain and suffering that we have been enduring, not having our children in our lives and, and trying to stay alive. And, and, and I just want to thank all the people and Bill from Lawless America for, for what he's doing and helping me and all the other Lawless America posse get our justice that we so desire. Thank you.